Hey there again folks, welcome back to New Day, New Game, and today we're playing The Keep. Uh, I would like to thank the folks over at Cinemax uh, SRO. I'm assuming uh, that's not the uh, movie channel. Uh, uh, I don't know if they're even still around the movie channel. But anyway, I'd like to thank them for letting me try this game out for free. Um, I always try to go into these games blind, but it looks like it's kind of like a dungeon crawler game. Um, maybe, you know, um, uh, aiming to be like, uh, kind of the like older, you know, uh, Dungeon Crawler games. Maybe, maybe like Ultima, I think I played w one game like that, but I, n I never played very many of them. Uh, I, I know I played one on the, on the regular Nintendo, but I was not a puzzle person at the time. Um, but anyway, let's see what type of game this is. Um, the music's kind of nice. Music's, music's kind of peaceful right now. Wait, what? What's the story? the hero continues his journey towards Watrys, let me tell you how a new age begins. It begins as a blue glint in the darkness, deep within a closed Talia mine. Here, um... Why did it start me on chapter three? Well, that's weird. Menu. Why did it start me on chapter three? I was wondering about the continue button. When I tried uh, playing it. Profile A, chapter three. Yeah, when I, when I started the game up, it, uh, it said something about my cloud saves did not... Uh, uh, didn't uh, match up or something. So I either had either could download or something, and then or upload. I was like, upload seems kind of strange. I don't know why what I'd be uploading. So I chose to download. It's weird. I wonder if that has something to do with it. Hmm. Oh, or maybe. Hmm. It's weird. Anyway, let, let's start the game from the beginning. I I, always, I don't I, I hate starting things in the middle. I even hated starting the Final Fantasy games in the middle. Uh, even though they're not not connected. And after a little bit, I knew they weren't connected, but still, I felt weird not doing it. Okay, so. Yeah, no, no permadeath. Don't skip the tutorial because I don't know what I'm doing. Okay. Must have been something about. Must have been the uh, cloud thing. Okay, chapter tutorial underground floor one. Um. Since I've. Since I've been doing the face cam thing, I've been trying to think, you know, make sure your face isn't covering anything. And I'm actually finally going to remember to check that. The other games, I've kind of been blocking some stuff, so. I'm going to tab out real quick and do this. I'm going to put my head up here. Yeah, that's actually one thing. I've been recording the OBS uh, here lately. That's one thing I like about that. When I do think about it, I can do things a lot quicker like that. Uh, remember when I uh, when I was using action, you didn't have the option to do that. Okay, so okay, so how do you turn? Wait a second! I played the demo to this game way back when. I did. You see, I'm an I'm an achievement hunter uh, a bit, so I they, uh, played a few achieve uh, a few demos that had achievements. I thought like, this part looks really familiar, huh? 
Yeah, I did, didn't I? I don't know how to turn. I still don't know how to turn, though. There is a button on the left wall. Push it to open the gate. Okay. Button on the left wall. Button on the left wall. I don't see a button. But I feel like I need to... Oh, A and E. Okay. Gotcha. Wasta moves the character. A and E spins it around. Okay. Gotcha. Now we know. Sign on the wall. Approach it and read it. Why do I have to approach it to read it? I should be able to read it from here. If I can't read it from here, my eyes are really bad. Take a stone from the floor and place it in your inventory. Then throw it through the bars. When throwing items, the height and speed of the slide affects the throw's distance. So what does it say? Stone from the floor when throwing. Or, or is that what it said? Take the stone from the floor. Okay, from the, the floor. Inventory. Throw it through when the throwing bars. Items, the height and speed. Oh, E. Okay. Turn around and... I'm assuming they're this one, right? Yeah. Take the torch from the wall and equip it to your right-hand slot so that you can use it as a weapon. You can hold it in your left hand as well. But it will only be used as a light source. Okay, so the torch is in the left hand. Okay. Wait. Wait. Oh, that's R. Don't forget that different kinds of opponents have different armor for their different hit zones. Some cannot be hit in certain hit zones at all. Switch to combat mode and hit the sack with an attack in the correct hit zone. Okay. Well, what's that shadow there? It's an ominous shadow. Hey, seriously, is someone behind me? Oh, oh, there we go. I gotta go. Gotcha. Now fight the rat with your standard attacks. Equip the dagger and use it to charge a combo point while fighting more rats. Then perform a combo attack. What dagger? Oh. That dagger, okay. Oh, oops. What was he saying about a combo? Oh, I see. Do left. Boom. Oh, that's what I do. Okay. Man, this that cauldron is really freaking loud. Cauldron, can you be quiet, please? That is loud. Uh sounds. Yeah, there we go. Okay, I don't seem to be anything. Take the runes from the ground and place them in your magic matrix. Tap the casting mode button to lock and unlock the matrix. Runes can only be arranged while the matrix is unlocked. Spells can only be cast while the matrix is locked. Yeah, 
Yeah, okay. This is definitely a tutorial that I played. And I remember being a, really confused about this part. The magic... I mean, I did it well enough for the tutorial in it. Scroll from the niche in the wall. But I remember being confused. The runes accordingly and cast the spell. Oops. Oh, okay. Oh, I did it. Okay. Rolls a fiery ball that deals fifteen to twenty-five fire damage. Some enemies are more vulnerable to fire, while others are immune to this element. Okay. Oh, oops. Take the potions. Notice how the same type of items can be stacked in the inventory. Okay. In the mines, you will come across magic crystals that can also be placed in the magic matrix. Spells do more damage when used as part of an attack spell incantation, particularly to magic users. Remember that some creatures are resistant to certain magic elements such as fire, frost, and light. There is much more to see and learn in the keep. Go now and fight your way inside. Hey, sounds like we're on our own now. Scene. It's a funny thing about rumors. They begin life as harmless stories, but with enough time and denying from those involved, they can grow to bring down empires. And so it was that when word began to spread that a nefarious wizard had come to power near the village of Talia, the High Council did the worst thing it could. It did nothing. It denied everything. And when no scouts returned from the region, it was not long before the common folk began to question the High Council's ability to deal with the situation, its competence to rule the Empire. And where the High Council failed, others stepped in. Heroic soldiers traveled to Talia to slay the wizard, and scrupulous scholars sought out his knowledge. Criminals fled there to escape the law of the realm. None were ever seen again. So it was that when this young man entered Talia, his future looked rather bleak. I think they're talking about me. Me, right? Me? I think me. Yeah, it seems to be me. I choose to leave. Oh, I can do some level things, okay. Okay. Also be used as a weapon deals five to eleven physical damage per thirteen stamina. Okay. I don't see any reason to worry about having to have that closed. Do we fall? Oops. 
I'm 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 being bad about uh I'm being bad about forgetting what uh what button does what. Well, I thought the rock would come back. I was wrong. Well, what happened to it? I can't remember exactly what it said. Oh, crap. Where'd it go? Oh, there it is. Okay, there we go. Don't touch the rock. Those look like little buttons right there. I guess not. Those are spikes. Those I should leave there then, apparently. So I'm gonna have to get, pick up some of those, but let's keep going for now. Okay, what did that open? Was this? So that one's on kind of a timer then, okay. Oh, a key. See, I'm, oh crap, oh crap, what did I do? I see, I see ominous red uh, beams there. Ooh, sweet. Hmm, those look important. How many of you die in here? More keep on coming. Um, I guess I'm not gonna learn. Is it courage? Tenacity? No, just good old fashioned stupidity. The villagers, where are they? Oh, so you're the hero with no interest in crystals or my knowledge, just a noble urge to save the world. But you know what? I like that. We, my dear hero, are going to have a little chat before you die. I'm a little preoccupied right now, but there's a perfect place where you can wait. So the villain is doing a thing where he uh, he lets the hero live. It seems to be the case. There's one good thing about prison. It really gives you time to think, 
and I think that I should have handled my encounter with Watrys a little better. Not being thrown in a prison would have definitely been a better outcome. Yes, I underestimated him, but he's done the same with me. Exactly. I've been bruised, battered, and burned by spells. I've been beaten and left for dead, and I've seen the inside of a prison before, but I'm still alive. You've had your turn, Watrys. Now it's mine. Okay, now it looks like there is uh, more combat. But I actually think I'm going to end this here. That That's like a little taste of what the game is about. Um, so yeah. Looks like there might be, you know, a pretty decent story here. Curious what, you know, what, about this bad guy. Um... So yeah, also you know I figure it's you know it is a good it is a pretty good stubbing point and also it's it is getting a bit late at night and I'm getting a bit drowsy. Uh, don't know if it I don't know, hopefully it's not showing up too much in the video but uh, but yeah, pretty neat game. Like I said, I, after seeing the menu and everything, I was like I played this before. I don't know if that's maybe why it was showing chapter three. You know, that would make sense when I was saying the cloud thing didn't match up. Because, because I did play the demo. Yeah. That does make sense now. Okay. I forgot I had played it. <laughs> uh, but anyway. Yeah. Uh, pretty fun game from what, I, from what I played tonight. And also from what I played before. I don't remember before because I have a ter terrible memory. I don't remember much about before. Uh, we didn't cast any spells, but I do remember that being a, a bit confusing, but, uh, but yeah, um, if dungeon crawlers are your type of, uh, game, then, uh, you know, this, this might be definitely worth a look, uh, the link will be down in the description, so you can get the game for yourself, and, uh, yeah, and if you really were to want to see me play this more, I might consider streaming it, um, Dungeon crawlers like this aren't exactly my type of uh, game. I like RPGs, but I haven't really played very many like this. Uh, uh, apparently, I played one more than I thought I had uh, er, from earlier, but uh, but yeah. But let me know if that's the case. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next game. Later, folks.